Macabre Squad. I'm coming to you today. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the death of Beth, Beth Chapman and about Dog the Bounty Hunter. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying that he's doing this and doing that. I don't think he would even have the mentality to even uh, harm himself because I think that would be... Um, like a strike at Beth's memory. I don't think he would want to disappoint her in any way. I think he is grieving um, the best way that he can. And uh, when you lose someone, you lose everything. And that, in that includes your appetite. Um, you don't feel like doing anything. You just want to be in bed. And it's hard, especially when you're in the public eye. Um... The reason why I'm talking about this is because uh, Beth Beth um, Chapman, her death uh, really um, was like personal to me because I also have um, two masses on my throat. One I have on my left side, that is six centimeters big, and then the other one on my right side is two centimeters and uh, they're non-cancerous, they are benign, but uh, they do hinder, uh, it has changed my voice, my voice is a lot deeper now, it's scratchier, um, it's hard for me to, to swallow, and um, the doctor said as long as, you know, it's not life-threatening, I can leave them there, but uh, it's getting to a point where it's hard for me to to even breathe sometimes but um i can see what she went through uh and it's it's very personal to me um so when she decided to quit all her medications and stuff like that and look for an alternative i can see where she was coming from because it gets tiring after a while. Everything that you go through, your body goes through, the medication, the side effects. It's a lot. It's tiring. There are some days that I have to just struggle to get out of bed because I suffer from other medical conditions as well. And we don't know what else Beth Chapman had. She looked very healthy, but when she got sick, she got sick. And she, she just lost so much weight. She was weighing like 119 pounds. And it's difficult. It's difficult living with illnesses. It's difficult to go out there in public and say, dog's doing this, he's taking drugs, he's chasing women, all this stuff. But you're not in their shoes. It's not fair for you to do that to someone you don't even know. Um, I know people can be cruel. I've gone through it my whole life. And um, he is a very strong man. He's gone to prison and he rose above everything. And I'm sure he's not going to lower himself and make those speculations become reality. I really doubt that, highly doubt that. He has a very close family, and I don't think they would want to lose their father as well. And I don't think he would do that to his children either. Um, I don't agree with everything Dog and Beth, uh, you know, Everyone has their opinion, and just because they have an opinion that doesn't agree with you, that doesn't mean that you have to hate them, hate on them, spread rumors about them. It's just ridiculous. You're just trying to make yourself feel better. You know, uh, in this society nowadays, you have to tiptoe around everybody, and the, the Chapmans aren't that way. They told it like it was. And a lot of people that are like that, they get ridiculed they get hate because they're just speaking the truth and their opinion and if it doesn't agree with you that's fine you have to be an adult and accept that um you know beth died at 51 years old and that just that's just heartbreaking anyone that dies young it's it's just heartbreaking because there's so much to live for you have your family, you know, you have just a lot. You have a lot. And even if you don't have close people, and you have pets, you know, who's going to take care of your pets? Who's going to love them? Who's going to be there? You think of all that stuff when you're put in that situation. And I'm sure 
with all the stress she had that added to her illness, you know, just dealing with everything, the public, everything, rumors. It's a lot. It's a lot when people think it's fun to talk about other people, you know, and gossip and stuff like that. But in the end, you're actually hurting somebody. They, they're a father, they're a mother, their brother, sister, whatever, you know. And I don't think it's right. I don't think it's good to gossip about something you know nothing about. Um, and that goes with everybody, whether you're famous or not. I, I don't like to really gossip about anybody, but I'm human. If I, I talk about somebody, I talk about somebody, but I just think, um, to get back on the subject, I just think dog wouldn't do that to tarnish the memory of his wife because <clears throat> she pulled him out of a dark place and I'm sure he appreciated it. He rose above everything and they were soulmates. They were like one person. And when he lost her, it was totally, I'm sure devastating. It was just devastating because I've lost people that I was just so close to. And it's hard. It's very hard. And when you're in the public eye, it's even worse. <clears throat> see, cause now you see how my throat, closes up and stuff that those are the masses I have in my throat so I just wanted to come and put my opinion out there I don't care if you agree or if you don't agree I don't want to get any hate on this video if you leave nasty comments I will block it and I will erase your comment I'm just stating my opinion you can state yours as well you don't have to agree with everything I say but let's honor Beth Chapman's um, memory and let's not bring dog down because right now you don't kick someone when they're down you just don't do that even if you don't like them you don't agree with them just mind your own business is what i'm trying to say and uh yeah so um for dog chapman and his family i am praying for you guys um it, you guys have honored her memory amazingly you've handled yourself amazingly and I just wish you guys all the best in the future. And for anyone that has lost a loved one, I know how it feels. And I say prayers for you as well. And um, that's about it. I just wanted to come out here and uh, state my opinion. So thank you guys. Love ya. Bye-bye.